Hi folks, Bob from Tri-City RV on Wilder Road in Bay City. Today I'm going to walk you through a 2017 Prowler P29RKS. The word Prowler is synonymous with travel trailers. Since 1969, Prowler has been the number one selling travel trailer in America with over 300,000 Prowlers on the road. They've done some great stuff for 2017. Let's get started on our walk around. First thing we'll notice is the large finished front pass-through storage compartment with an LED light. And I'd also like you to notice how it has a separate wall that keeps it your stuff on the outside from rolling into the inside. I see a lot of travel trailers these days where you lift the bed and your inside storage stuff combines with your outside storage. They do a really nice job of finishing this area off all the way around so that all your outdoor cargo stays in the outdoor storage compartment. <clears throat> Heavy duty frame mounted scissor jacks. A lot of companies today are equipping their units with electric stabilizer jacks. The problem with the electric stabilizer jacks is you can only get them so stable. We prefer the crank down jacks at Tri-City RV. I say crank down, but you can get a drill with a socket and run these down in half the time it takes for the electric jacks to go down. Another thing to consider is, is you're not going to be paying um, hundreds of dollars to replace the 12 volt motors on your electric slide out stabilizer jacks. Um, we've had trouble with them and um, we equip them with these. We find you can get them a lot more stable with the, the old style crank down jacks. Heavy duty 10 inch I-beam frame construction. I'd also like you to notice this circle. This circle is so that you can put a uh, crank in through this hole on this nut on the frame and manually crank in and out your slide out should your power fail. They give you easy access to that. Um, if you should have a power failure or a slide out motor failure, you can easily crank in both of the slide outs on this unit. This unit is equipped with a Sol Solera power lighted awning with an easy tilt pitch patent pending. If it rains, we know we want our water to run down off the side of the awning. And I get a lot of customers that ask, can I tilt my awning? They're used to the old style where you'd lift up the handle and drop it down. Yes, you can tilt it and it's this easy. Upward position, downward position. The Prowler features outside stereo speakers, one up by the front awning arm, one by the rear awning arm so that you can listen to your stereo, your radio, your DVDs, or your CDs outside. Radial tires with Dexter axles. Never adjust brakes. They're self-adjusting and easy lube hubs. I pop this chrome cap off and I can grease my own wheel bearings. Also, panorama windows. Once we get inside, you'll be able to see the better scape of the panorama windows on this unit. Lots of bright lights inside. A folding assist grab handle. A quick recovery gas and electric Atwood hot water heater. A ladder for easy access to the crowned roof. And I'd like Amanda to zoom in on, on this roof. Those are four and a half inch tapered roof trusses so that the water runs off down into the gutters where it's supposed to and doesn't sit on the roof. The roof is a one piece rubber membrane with a 12 year warranty. A handy outside shower with hot and cold water. You could use this as a fish cleaning station, spray the kids off when they come back to the beach or I know a lot of people that use it for their pets. A spare tire with carrier and cover. 
our power cord is located in the back of the trailer, which is great because most of your poles that you plug your trailer into electrically are toward the back of the trailer. I've seen the power hookup before in front of the slide. Well, 25 of your cord is taken up trying to get to the back of the trailer. At Prowler, we put the power cord in the back so that it's easy to plug in at the pole. Side slide out windows. As we come around here, an exterior cable TV hookup. A lot of parks you stay at have cable TV and a black tank sewer flusher. I hook my water hose up to the black tank sewer flusher. It goes down into my sewage tank. High speed jets spray off the inside of my black water tank to help keep my monitor probes cleaner. While we're out here at the slide out, I'd like Amanda to pan in at the underside of this slide out and notice that it is a laminated plastic undercoating slide. And at the corners, they put these guides. The reason for this, folks, is, is that a lot of companies will use that black burlap looking stuff under the slide outs, which is called Darko. At Prowler, we go the extra mile and give you a one piece laminated slide out to eliminate any chance of a rotten slide out floor in the future. A 10 inch structural I-beam cambered frame. When I think about load bearing weight and construction, I always think about I-beam construction. There are companies that use tubular steel frames. I've never heard of a tube in my life supporting weight in a commercial building. When I think about commercial buildings, I think of a structural I-beam frame that supports weight. This does have a powder coated structural I-beam frame. By the way, the underbelly is heated, insulated, and enclosed. I don't know if, that, if Amanda can get a shot of that, but we've got the whole underside of this unit is heated, insulated, and enclosed. So we head around to the front of the trailer. We've got double bulb sweep seal gaskets on the outside. And if you'll notice, there's an inner seal as well. As this slides in and out, if you ever have to run it halfway out to get in the trailer while you're traveling, you get full slide out seal contact all the way the outside of your slide out. On the front of the unit, we have a LED lighted power jack for easy connecting and disconnecting from the car. A quick access 30 pound propane tank so I don't have to take the LP tank cover to open my propane tanks and an auto changeover regulator. Beautiful stunning front graphics on the Prowler. They give you this nice diamond plate rock guard for any stones that might come up and threaten to dent the front of your unit. Now we're going to head to the inside. When I walk into the inside of the unit, this is a rear kitchen unit, hence the PRKS. A rear kitchen unit with the Prowler Paw Kitchen. This is the shape of a paw, so they call it the Prowler Paw. Talk about counter space. One of the complaints I hear from people is, is I don't have any counter space, I don't have any counter space. Not the case in this particular unit. Tons of counter space, tons of pantry space. And they even give you this full pull-out drawer for all of your stuff. You set your stuff in here, you pull this out, you get out what you need, you roll this back in, and you close the cupboard doors. 50-50 residential sink with molded covers, high-rise faucet, and the biggest spice rack I think I've ever seen in the history of my career in the RV industry. This goes all the way. That's got to be about a six footer, I think. A um, lot of spices that fit in that. LED lights throughout the unit. More counter space on this side. 
a handy pot and pan drawer underneath the oven. Super deep, plywood constructed, all on ball bearing roller glides. Oversized pole handles. Throughout this unit, we have floor ducted heat like we do in our residence and central ducted air conditioning throughout. A microwave with carousel, a three burner 16 inch suburban high output range, and a Dometic gas electric six cubit foot refrigerator with plenty of room for all of your goodies. Our kitchen drawers are all full length ball bearing roller glides, meaning you can pull them all the way out. They don't have the center plastic that you have to lift up to pull out where you can only get it out three quarters of the way. These come out all of the way. This is a super nice feature, the trash can. So often I hear, where do I put my trash can? I was showing a $68,000 fifth wheel the other day and there was no place to put the trash. They've got this hidden, really handy, nice stowaway trash can in the prowler, which is a great feature. Plenty of 110 outlets on the wall. So often you'll see 110 outlets underneath the cupboard. We've got one here. We've got one here so that I can set my appliances in the kitchen and not have to plug and have cords hanging from the bottom of the cabinetry. On this unit, we have a tall slide out room with a beautiful decorative lighting over the solid wood table, freestanding table with four chairs and a handy storage compartment underneath all four of the chairs. A trifold sleeper sofa, meaning this pulls out so you can sleep two adults or three children comfortably. Notice that throughout the traffic area we have linoleum all the way through to the entry door. So often these units will have carpet in them. This is all linoleum so that you don't have to worry about tracking up the carpet. This unit's equipped with a Coleman Mach 13,500 BTU high performance air conditioner and it is central ducted through the ceiling. But a lot of times when you get set up camping, the inside of the unit is really hot. So this Coleman has a nifty quick cool louver whereby sliding this open on both sides, I get a blast of cold air right down into the living area. Our entertainment center features a DVD CD player that is Bluetooth capable with a USB charging port and plenty of storage underneath the entertainment center for movies, DVDs, and other entertainment products. As we head down the hall, I'd like you to notice that I have a private door to the bathroom and a private door to the master bedroom. Meaning, if you have people camping with you and they're sleeping out in the living area, when they come into the bathroom, they are not going to interfere with your privacy because we have a sliding door here that closes and the hard door that closes so we can separate the trailer from the front bedroom to the rest of the unit. As we come into the bathroom, it's very well amenitized. A stand-up glass shower enclosure with a skylight. I'm five foot ten. I've got plenty of room left. A six foot five inch tall man could take a nice real shower in this unit. A Sealand porcelain foot pedal flush toilet, a heat duct in the bathroom, and an air conditioner duct in the bathroom. When you're shopping for a unit, you want to make sure you have an air conditioner duct in the bathroom and a heat duct in the bathroom. A lot of times they'll eliminate one or the other. So you're either freezing in the bathroom or sweating in the bathroom. This has an AC duct and a heat duct in the bathroom. A nice corner vanity with a wood medicine cabinet with shelves. A systems monitor panel where I can check the levels 
of my holding tanks, my freshwater tank, my black water tank, and my gray water tank capacity. I have two switches in here that say water heater. One is for my auto ignition gas, one is for my electric, and then I've got my water pump switch. You don't have to go outside to turn on your electric water heater like you do in some other units. What At Prowler, we equip it with the electric switch on the inside so that you don't have to go outside to turn on your electric hot water heater. Our second slide out on this unit features adjustable shelving or we can remove this shelving and use it for hanging clothes wardrobe. I've seen a lot of people take out the top two shelves, hang clothes in here, and then use these shelves for storage. And if you'll notice underneath the bottom shelf, it's a great place to put your shoes to get them out of the way. Your flip-flops, your tennis shoes, anything else that you might use when you're camping. On this side, wow, this is something that you don't see in many trailers in this price point. Massive, full-length, pull-out, real deep plywood drawers. How convenient is that? I don't see that in a lot of trailers. What a great thought they had at Prowler. No wonder they're the top-selling trailer of all time. 300,000 Prowlers on the road since 1969. Hard to believe. Chances are your grandpa, your grandma, uh, probably owned one back in the day. In here, we have our walk around island queen bed. Easy to get around to both sides of the bed. We've got 110 outlets on both sides with LED lights over the bed and storage compartments up over the bed. By lifting up the bed, We've got a really nice, clean, finished off storage compartment with residential bow floor linoleum throughout this unit. And again, a heat duct in the bedroom and an AC duct in the bedroom. A lot of units that you look at may not have a heat duct in the bedroom. People complain all the time that it's too cold in the bedroom. On this prowler, we have a heat duct and an AC duct in the bedroom. Another standard in this unit is a bedroom roof vent. And this isn't any bedroom roof vent. I'd like you to notice that Prowler knows that you sleep up here. So this is what they call a smoked roof vent, which makes it darker inside the trailer. So that when you're sleeping and you close the windows and put your shades down, it keeps it dark in here. So often I've seen trailers where the roof vents right over the bed and at first light, all the light shines right down where you're sleeping. They put a blackout vent on the top. In fact, if I crank this open, you can see how much light it lets in and then by closing it, how dark it gets. What a great feature on this Prowler. Good thinking, guys. Turn this back on. A place for a TV. This is reinforced with plywood behind this wall so that if you like to lay in bed and watch TV like I do, you can mount a TV bracket here, slide the TV in, and you've got a coax and a 110 outlet to hook your TV up. As we head out here into the living room one more time, in the unit throughout the unit we have these handy pull down privacy shades no mini blinds like you'd find in other competitive trailers night shades where at night i have privacy and i'd like you to see the size of the window in this particular unit oversized window tall ceiling height I think the perfect camper for you. Stop by Tri-City RV. We have a lot more Prowlers coming in every day. We're a multi-line dealer, family owned and operated in Bay City for over 20 years. Visit TriCityRV.com. I'm Bob, part of the team, and I'll see you soon.